Aloha! Today we are going to be drawing a humu humu nuku nuku apua a, or sometimes just called a humu humu for short, and it is the state fish of Hawaii. So what you're going to need for this picture is some paper, some colors, either felt pens, pencil crayons, crayons or whatever you'd like to use, and uh, a black marker for outlining. If you use a sharpie, you're going to want to make sure you have a couple pieces of paper underneath to keep the sharpie from going through and drawing on your table. Once you've gathered your materials, let's get started. So to begin, I like to draw a diamond shape for the body of the humuhumu nukunukapua'a, or sometimes we call it just a humuhumu. And for that, I draw a diamond shape that's curved. Um, curved on the edges or on the top and the bottom and then I don't quite complete it on the two sides because that's where the tails gonna go on one side and then the lips are gonna go on the other so I'll actually bring this one in and do kind of like a little smiley face at the front and I'll do the top lip and the bottom lip and then I'll just do a little smile and then I'll do the lips so for the lips I curve them down and I do kind of like, um, let's see, it's almost like a leaf shape. So it kind of curves down and meets the lip um, part way along. Although you should draw that smiley face a little bit past, past where the lips are. For the tail, you're going to draw two lines. So we'll go one, I got one, so I'll make it a little longer to draw the second one. And then you'll just fan it out. So you're gonna make kind of like a curved out fan. And then I like to just do a wave at the back. It kind of shows that the tail is moving. When you do the lines on the tail, I don't recommend doing more than three. More than three and it just gets a little bit busy. So let's try one, two, three. You can make them all the same length. You can make them different lengths. I think I might actually lengthen that one just a little bit, but whatever you choose, I'm sure it will look great. And then from there, we're going to move to the eye. The eye of the trigger fish or the humuhumu should be right at the top of the diamond um, archway right there. So I'm going to put it in. And for this one, because it's a cartoon drawing, I'm going to draw the eye a nice decent size and I do a circle, one big circle, and then I'm going to do two little circles. One in the top right, another one in the bottom left, and that's where the light is hitting the eye. Everything else just gets filled in with black. Okay, now I'm going to move on to the fin. So the fin will be below the eye, about in the middle of the body, and just back a little bit. So it'll actually end up being kind of in line with the lips at the front. And for the fin, we're just going to do two diagonal lines kind of getting larger and then another one of those little waves. And on the fin, I like to do two curved lines um, where we'll just color it a different color. On the top of the fish, we're going to do the trigger. So Humuhumus are, are a type of trigger fish, and what makes these fish special is they have two spines, which is neat. And the second spine helps the first spine lock into place. I believe I have that right. <laughs> um, and if I understand correctly, it can keep this um, the spine up, the first spine up, and it will use that sometimes as defense but also it'll you'll use that to hook on uh, to jagged rocks or edges on the reef when it's sleeping or when it's just under there and then that helps it to stay safe and protected from any other animals especially when it's sleeping so we're gonna do one kind of spike at the top that'll be just a little bit behind the eye and then another one at the bottom we're gonna go like that and that will be below that bottom fin and back just a little bit. And then we'll do these fins. So for this one, we're just going to do, it will be a little bit like um, 
two hills. So it's gonna kind of come up as a peak coming down and then up as a second hill and then back down. And then we'll do the same thing on the bottom side. So it's kind of like a hill, a little valley and another hill. So those are gonna be our two fins. Next, we're gonna do the lines um, where, we, where he's gonna have some different colors. So to start this, we start up at the top and we're going to do two lines that come down and go into or touch the eye. Coming out of there, they're gonna go slightly different directions. So the back one is going to curve back. It's going to pass by that back fin and curve back pretty far on the tail to at least part way down that back fin. So as long as you end up somewhere in the middle or back of that back fin, um, the other side is going to curve down and then it's gonna take a dip before coming back up and then going down. And that one should end somewhere between um, the bottom spike there and the middle of that lower fin. Now we get to do the arrows. I'm gonna call them arrows. So we're going to do a pointed pattern and we'll make it thick so that it's too thick right there. And then we'll do another one right here that essentially is going to run into that back line. So we are going to have it come up and then come down and the back side of it there is that back line. All right, that is basically it for the, for the fish. If you want, you can add some extra details. I like to add usually some kind of plant that looks like it's close up, something like that. Maybe something that's a little further away. Um, you could also add maybe the ground because these are a reef fish. So you might have the ground below that shows the bottom of the, the sea. You could always add a little coral too. Those are kind of fun. You could add kind of like a a tree trunk that comes up it'd be like a really knobby tree so as it comes up it's going in all different directions with kind of bumps coming all off of it so instead of a tree that would have very straight branches it's gonna go in different directions like this it might even drop down a little bit now your picture will not look exactly like my picture and that's good every picture should be different and even if you do it two or three times it'll end up different every time but that's basically it for our fish if you want you also have little sometimes I'll add little bubbles here or there but that's it so um, if you want to color your picture there's different ways to color it I did not know this but I read something that said that they can actually change colors so they'll tend to be brighter when they are feeling healthy and comfortable and they'll be a little bit more vibrant. And then if they're hiding or scared, they'll tend to be a duller color. And so I personally, for my fish, I liked to go with yellow and I liked to do vibrant. So I did yellow for these three sections here with the curve on the tail and then the two kind of arrow shapes. And then I did blue, for all the fins. So I'm not sure if I have a blue right here. There we go. So um, I did blue for all these fins here. And then the lip. So this is another cool thing about them is typically their um, front upper lip is blue. And I learned, I didn't know this, but I learned that their teeth, their front upper teeth are apparently blue as well, which I thought was super cool. So for this one, I'm gonna use two different colors of blue to show it kind of fading, uh, because most of the pictures I saw, they were, it was fading from dark to light. And then you could always use something like pencil crayons to achieve um, a similar look on the bottom. 
So I'm going to start and I'm going to fade it from a darker color underneath to a lighter color as you move up. So I'm going to do that. I like mixing um, media, so if you have felt pens or pencil crayons or crayons, you can use whatever you want to color this, or you can use a combination of all of the above. It's fun to be able to have that flexibility if you have something that you want to look a very certain way. You don't have to stick to one thing. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and finish coloring this, and then when I'm done, I will show you the, the finished piece. All right, so I have finished painting um, my fish, and here are the colors I chose. So I chose orange for the main part of the body here, as well as the top, and I used felt pen, but then I used a pencil crown to fade it down so it got lighter. And then I, I used a light blue to go from the bottom to the top. Uh, yellow, as I showed for the, um, the arrows and the little curve right there. I used black for covering, this is important, this part right here should be black on him. Uh, as well, I went in and I just used orange just to go around the eye, otherwise your eye will completely disappear there, into the black I mean. Um, I used yellow for down below, I kind of ran out of yellow <laughs> in my felt pens, they were barely holding on by the end, but I like it, it creates kind of a sandy texture. To the picture and then um, some green and then some red for the coral once you're done your picture keep in mind every picture is gonna look a little bit different I did this picture three different times and it turned out different every single time but every fish is gonna be a little bit different swimming around out there in the ocean so have fun with this and happy happy drawing <laughs>